During this section now, we're going to start investigating the, the fat shot. What is a fat shot? Why does it happen? And more importantly, how can you correct it so you don't hit them? Now, a fat shot is generally classed as a club or a shot where the club hits into the ground or into the grass before it gets to the golf ball. As that happens, the club will therefore slow down, take all the power away from the club, and it might even twist itself so it's not lined up as it should be as it hits the golf ball. So a fat shot generally goes nowhere near the distance it should do, possibly a lot lower than it should do, and sometimes as well not as straight as it should do. Now we need to be careful here because we should take a divot with most of the mid to short iron. So for maybe uh, five, six and downwards to the sand wedge, we should be taking a divot each time. I want to encourage you to do that. It's a very important part of the process of how do we strike the golf ball. We should be striking down on the golf ball, hitting the ball and then hitting the grass. So I don't want to put you off hitting the grass completely because then you'll end up with a, with a top shot which we covered in the previous section. You should be hitting the ground but you should quite importantly be hitting the ground after the ball. If I've got a golf ball here and I lean back, this is where I hit the ground, the fat shot. If I hit the golf ball and I lean forwards, we should be able to take a divot from this side of the golf ball. Now I've got a couple of balls set up here. I'm going to take two divots. The divots are going to be about the same size, but they're going to be in different positions. One's going to be before the golf ball. The first one, that'll be the fat shot. The second one, the divot will be after the golf ball and hopefully in the right position. So the first one we're going to hit with a fat shot. We're going to lean back a little bit as we swing catch a great big piece of turf and the ball was here and the turf is hit from here. So we're around about six inches behind the golf ball and you can see there the divot nearly went as far as the golf ball did itself. So I'll clean my golf club off, there we go, and hit this next one. Now hopefully we can take a divot here again but it will be in the right position. So you can see there's another divot in this position here, the two golf balls placed there and there, one before and one divot after. And that makes a big difference to the strike of the shot and the ball flight. So we can see from this position here where the golf balls were as I hit those last shots. Both balls were nicely lined up. The clubs entered the ground here very early before it got to the golf ball on the heavy shot. So on that occasion we saw the golf ball only travel about 20 yards. And on this one you can see the ball was positioned at the start of the divot. We hit nicely down into the golf ball. The club travelled a good couple of inches past the golf ball before it got to its lowest point. And then it came back out again and the ball on that occasion went its full distance. 